Anarchistra is a collection of over 250 unique musical instruments, all invented by Andy Thurlow. Each instrument attempts to create timbres never heard before, while being played with unique action. The Anarchistra is often set up as an interactive installation where spectators are invited to become part of the band. It's the first time for these individuals to try it, and it's often tuned to the same key of A minor so that no one can hit the wrong notes, just the wrong rhythm. Let's take a look at the newest instruments that Andy's created in the past five years. And please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell that says send me all notifications from this channel. Andy. Yes. I want to thank you for taking the time to meet with me again. My pleasure. I wanted to come back because, well, these are really cool and you've made some new ones. Mm -hmm. And the last video, we did a video together that got 8 million views. You got some uh, some deals out of it, actually. Your sounds of the Anarchistra are in some Hollywood horror movies. In now. a Hollywood horror movie, yes it is. Uh, what's this guy? This is Zorb. This is played like this. Sort of wow. like that, or you can play two at once, which is actually more fun. It's kind of like a glass harmonica, except you're using metal and it's, instead of glass. Kind of like Tibetan singing bowls. They and take a just... long time for each note to happen, you know? And it's that easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy. This is Nan Barrow. And this can be played a number of different ways. But the uh, obvious one is to play it. Oh, wow. Cool. Pick up here and one down here. It's like the opposite of a hurdy gurdy. Yeah, it kind of is. This is Chimric, and which is called Chimric because it has chimes, which, which mm. those are. Um, and you play it, you can pluck it. Okay. Or you can bow it. And get a more general sound out of it. And you can also. Oh, it has a drone right here. Yeah. This is Bandersnatch. Okay. This is kind of for punk rock. These are bandsaw blades, right? Well, I can feel the serrated edge. Yeah, they're all the ones that break, you know, because you break them as you use them, so you end up with piles of them. So you, oh. you need, you make kalimbas out of them, all kinds of so things. So you're recycling the yes. bandsaw blades to as make an instrument out of To make an instrument out of And this, so, well. This is Rewar. Okay. How does it work? And Rewar is, it's gongs. And each one is on a pulley system. And I see you're lowering it down into this tub of water here. Yep, and the pulleys keep them where you put them so that you can tune them to whatever scale you'd like to get. dip them in the water to change the pitch of the gong. Yep. And it'll change about that much. And I notice each gong has its own pickup on it. Yep. This is Quirette, and it used to be an organ sort of that I didn't make the other part out of. Were you trying to turn this into like a calliope? 
eventually, this is as cool as it is, but it's harder to do with breath than it is without. You were gonna, you were gonna have bellows. Yeah. I remember. Eventually, yeah. Bellows that play through here, but now you're just playing it with human-powered wind. Human-powered wind. Each of these mouthpieces plays the three flutes, and right now they're tuned in chords. These are minor chords that they're tuned to. Um, other chords are other chords. And you can tune them sort of any way you want. You can only set them up and play them that way, you know. So what's this guy? This is Gorshrev. And how does it work? It has three strings and you play them. And you're just basically hammering on the frets with these levers. Yeah, so you can drum, you know. Oh, okay. And you can play it from either side, it doesn't matter. This guy is Anciango. Okay. And this plays with two strings. This one is just a drone, and this one is movable, which moves on like with this action. But this is a, a pulley system, right? Yeah. Here. Oh, you have these little wheels that make it go up and down. And with that counterweight, it stays where you put it. So you can just. <laughs> unfamiliar motion for a musical instrument. I guess it is. <laughs> this is two different instruments. The one up here is a kalimba and it's called Clyde and the one down here is sort of a harp and it's called Stego. Two instruments in one. Yeah, they're both meant to work together. You're playing a harp and a kalimba at the same time. Yeah. Iron Man. I tried. Andy, why did you make this stuff? Well, I made it for several reasons. First reason is because music sounds so boring. That's the basic, simple explanation of it. It's because most music has 12 notes for, you know, the scale, mm -hmm. and that's it. We can hear 144, 150 notes in that same space. We're missing a lot of information in that. That's mm -hmm. one of the reasons. Other reason is it's fun to make things, right? Uh -huh. It's much more fun to go make something like this than to go buy it at a store. You can buy You can't it. buy this at a store. No, you can't. Anybody can play these. That's the idea. Is that you go to these and you see it and you just sort of figure it out. Now, some people are mechanical and won't figure it out, but most people will. And they'll be just as good, just the average person will be just as good as the best guitar player, piano player, etc. on this because they'll know just what they know. But if you figure out something to do, cool. You've become a musician. This is a bunch of music.